Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Mix Lab. My name is Kane Churko, and today we're going to be talking about how to blend synths and guitars. Um, specifically how to blend the two to make one cool sound uh, and have them work together. So let's just dive in and we'll get going. What I got here soloed is um, a set of four rhythm guitar tracks. Um, they've already been EQ'd, they've already been um, processed and stuff, so, so this is just guitar tracks. Very cool, heavy riff, um, but you know I love to try to always experiment with taking things one step further and making things a little bit more larger than life. So one way I would do that is by blending um, a synth sound that, that does the same thing with those guitars. Um, the synth sound in this case that I've chosen um, to do that is, is this one. It's a cool little um, little sound, um, and it and it already does help support the guitars a little bit. But I'll we'll listen to those together. You can see how I was kind of experimenting with blending um, the volume with, with it to find a good balance. Um, but there's things you can do beyond that um, once you've found um, a, a, a volume blend already. So um, one thing you can do, and, one, and some things that I do, are um, have a few different effects ready to go to experiment with making the sound a little bit bigger. Uh, first one is just some basic extra compression. Uh, I love this Novatron EQ by Kush. Very quickly, just got a little bit of compression dialed in. One thing that's great about this particular plugin is the saturate feature that it has here. You can hear how experiment with different variations of saturation how the sound immediately is shaped differently. Um, makes it even a little bit nastier, a little bit grittier, um, and in my opinion, more prone to blending with the guitars. So let's even hear how that, how that sounds with those guitars. Already the synth sounds a little bit less like, if it's, a, like it's in its own space and is now merging with the guitars more. Um, you can enhance that quickly with some Additional EQ. Um, I love the Hammer EQ, but also by Kush um, on synths in particular. just added a little bit more depth to the sound. Um, it made it a little bit louder as well, so I'm going to turn it down a little, a little more volume-wise now. Um, there's other, other things you can try. Um, distortion can be really cool sometimes. I like to use this Manny Mariquin distortion by Waves. You can hear by just turning it on and um, Using a little bit of drive, it almost sounds like its own guitar now. It, it doesn't even um, sound as much like a synth that we're hearing. And if I were to mute it, the guitars themselves don't sound nearly as interesting without that sound now. Um, even though the guitars sounded cool to begin with. so. Um, it's already just bringing it to life, and you can try different variations of that. I love this Futz box as well. A 
I mean, that sounds like a completely different synth, but another cool option. And very often, I'll experiment with um, using different kinds of distortions and different kinds of saturations on particular synths, even through even um, in different sections of the song. So I might I might distort or saturate something, the same sound differently in a verse than I would say in a chorus, a pre-chorus, or bridge. Um, and I think just doing that gives you more to listen to, more textures to work with, um, and helps make your song more interesting, denser, and um, and thicker. So um, that's some tricks that I do to every day in, in songs to, to blend synths with guitars.